Mumbai, a city that never sleeps, a city filled with the hustle and bustle of dreams, millions of hearts passing in a hurry, a city that never stops, the traffic that never halts. Mumbai, the city spilled with mess and sprinkled with magic, a place where people seek peace on the sand of the sea and lonely hearts find solace at the shore staring at the waves. There's always a local train honk, a place filled with people from all walks of life. This is a city buzzing with stories, railway announcements and prayers. This is a city that never sleeps. But then, Mumbai was startled with what happened next. Coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. Uh, the coronavirus has officially arrived in India. What's making the control of this virus particularly problematic is the fact that no one knows how it originated, no one knows how it is being spread, no one knows how to treat it. Mumbai experienced something that they had never before. 22 March Rabibar ko. सुबह सात बजे से रात नौ बजे तक सभी देशवासियों को जनता कर्फ्यू का पालन करना है दस द लाइवली मुंबई केम टू अ स्टैंड स्टिल ऑल आर लाइफ स्पेंड डाउन हिल द स्ट्रीट विच वंस हैड पीपल इन प्लेंटी नाउ स्टैंड बेयर एन एम टी कोविड नाइनटीन हैज इंस्टिल्ड इट्स फ्योर बाई टेकिंग अवे Are near and dear, but how do we overcome and cope after all this darkness? Do we still have hope? India is now the fourth worst affected country from COVID-19, with over five lakh sixty-six thousand cases reported. However, in these crucial times, there is a positive sign. My dear Father Basil. the clergy team and the entire parish community it gives me immense joy to note that the youth of your parish are assisting you to produce a video on the franciscan family highlighting the outreach activities organized during the lockdown 2020 as bishop in charge of the youth I congratulate the entire parish community and the youth in particular for the spirit of self-sacrifice in reaching out to all those affected during the coronavirus pandemic. Your idea of documenting the outreach efforts is excellent as it will provide the best inspiration to those who follow in these footsteps that our lady of good counsel church signed just as the testimony of the early christian communities inspires us today this example is even more valuable because it takes into consideration our brothers and sisters who are suffering anxious and down and out and you reached out today in service today we live in uncertain times our daily news channels present at times horrifying incidents of the poor elderly lonely daily wage earners domestics migrants and so on and so forth we are not sure whether covid-19 will end soon and the vaccine to combat it seems to be a long and distant hope and our people irrespective of caste or creed will continue to feel helpless and vulnerable It is in this context that I appeal to the youth and the entire parish community to rise up to the occasion, to reach out, to help, and be 
of service of course maintaining physical distance taking all the precautions observing all the laws and to ensure that our brothers and sisters feel assured and strengthened boosting them up perhaps saying aap gabarna nahi hum aapke sath hain my dear sisters and brothers when you reach out to these people i believe that you are witnesses of jesus you are disciples of jesus who once said whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters you did it to me god bless you and may you continue to make our lady of good counsel to sign a reflection of god's kingdom here on earth all of us have been confronted by a very terrible fearful pandemic we don't know much about it what we do know is that this pandemic is change the face of humanity Psalms 107 verse 9 For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things The SFOs of our Lady of Good Counsel Church Sion guided by the able and wonderful friars began distributing food to the hungry they all joined hands to cook and serve the poor as proverbs 22 verse 9 says be generous and share your food with the poor you will be blessed for it we are undergoing some terrible times due to covid-19 lots of efforts have been gone through but we have not come to a solution to this problem there is as of now no possible cure for this dreadful disease so many people are working on it so many experiments have been done everybody is in search of a vaccine but we are far far away from it in the meantime we you know what has been happening around us we know what has happened in the whole world thousands have died and many in our own city of mumbai thousands and thousands of people are working for these people who are suffering people who are homeless people who are hungry people who are on the roads migrant workers all are trying to escape all are trying to have safety all are trying to go home when the cases in our dharavi area were increasing our friars from mumbai from our lady of good counsel parish our lady of good counsel friary they had this moment of relief work spearheaded by father basil lobo the parish priest a very dynamic person he got everybody involved in this process he got hold of his own friars he got hold of his parishioners order of secular franciscans he collected funds from different people they were there every day and even now they are there every day cooking meals for them for the people who are hungry giving away meals cooked food in the afternoon and also distributing ration that is rice oil dal sanitizers face masks etc i've been seeing the generosity of friars i don't call out the names of all the friars but i'm very grateful to them for having for involving in the lives of the people who are suffering not so much thinking about themselves taking this risk to go down to go down near the gate or maybe outside the gate doing the purchase themselves at times and at the gate they are there every afternoon waiting for the people to serve them i wish you all the best 
brothers stay together stay safe say stay inside as far as possible for all reaching out you have done for all the troubles you have taken for the people and you are still taking may god bless you thank you as franciscans we are called to respond to covid 19 crisis despite many hardships we have passed some challenges and more are ahead at this given moment in sign mumbai at our lady of good counsel church and shrine of saint anthony we have supported the homeless people with cooked food water safety kit and dry ration at four different stages of lockdown many are facing challenges on their way under conditions of lockdown the worries of migrant to reach home daily wages labors and the fear of loss of job or salary being deducted or not being paid these challenges are being looked into by way of counseling and their circumstances so daily exchange with our volunteers members of our community and secular franciscans we are also learning of the importance of our franciscan commitment and vocation blending in hope and vision within the communities we work as franciscans we have witnessed many times how crisis situations present opportunities to rebuild better more inclusive and more stable societies as we witness to covid-19 we try to do our best for those in danger around us our voice must support and facilitate a vision beyond the crisis a vision where a social system can actively eradicate the conditions that have led to various diseases and that developed and explored the context of climate change and poverty we pray through the intercession of saint anthony an effective vaccine may be found speedily every need in the world is an open door to share god's love that is why as a fhic family we are responding to the covid-19 crisis not by panicking or hiding out of fear but by serving the people who are most vulnerable no matter how frustrating confusing or scary this virus gets but fear is not the final say with sheer love for the people of god the sisters of the congregation of the franciscan hospital sisters of the immaculate conception province of our lady of the mount north india have responded to this terrible crisis and reached out to the most needy and vulnerable in the country and also in the philippines by serving cooked food groceries vegetables fruits and clothing the sisters in the health care department have tirelessly served the poor and needy the sick bring them healing and consolation The sisters of the province of Our Lady of the Mount have not shied away from this responsibility to reach out in loving service and be a witness of God's love to humanity. 
the coronavirus pandemic has overturned the plans lifestyle and even the practice of our spirituality it has taken away the lives of many and has pushed the world on the verge of financial crisis we have seen the sad plight of the poor and the migrants who struggle to return to their native places in this crisis situation we the franciscan missionaries of mary have been involved in assisting those who are most affected by this crisis all the 24 communities in mumbai province have been reaching out to those affected in their respective areas according to the need of the situation in mumbai our three communities san francis of assisi convent at kopalkarni san anthony's home at baikala and villa teresa convent at pedder road have been assisting the migrants commercial sex workers transgenders beggars handicapped and the poor slum dwellers in collaboration with the ngos msfs fathers police personnel and parishioners depending on the need we were happy to share cooked food dry provisions face masks and med- medical and financial aid our patron saint francis of assisi and our founders blessed mary of the passion continue to challenge and inspire us to be instruments of hope peace and compassion to the humanity which is grappling with the pandemic god bless us all We pray now for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak. for the healing of those affected for the victims and their families we pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found we pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer through Christ our lord amen 